Messy. So apparently, AD has a sugar daddy. Not yet, girl. Not yet. Oh, this season has just been so, so, so messy. I've never... Is there anybody who is not a villain besides Johnny and Amy? because everybody has dirt that has been dug up and dragged through the streets so today i have a little bit of tea i don't have the tea the streets have the tea i'm just bringing the tea to y'all and it's about ad and i had to be careful about this one because i didn't want y'all thinking that i just hate ad and i'm always going on a hate train for ad because i think everybody on the show is trash at this point with the exception of a few people but this one was very interesting to me because I just feel like in the last couple of days since the reunion has aired, people have really gone on this We Love AD train with a few people being the exception, saying like, girl, you ain't learned nothing. But there's a majority of people on the internet who just are excusing her behavior. There are AD stands and, and she can do no wrong. And I just think that's such a bad narrative. It's such a bad message to send to people out there who basically just do whatever ignore red flags getting these horrible situations and then blame the world for it like this is not a moment to be like oh you know black women can do no wrong and we need to stand behind ad yada 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 no we need to hold her accountable to her actions and if not then at least stay neutral to the situation but there is no villain when it comes to ad and clay i think they are both equally at fault i mean literally they are both trash in my opinion but anyways when it comes to that relationship they're both trash but anyways, what I wanted to talk about today is because I saw a video on um, TikTok and it's about AD potentially having a sugar daddy. So I'm going to play the video for you guys, listen to it, and then we'll come back and talk about it. So apparently AD has a sugar daddy. We know that Clay had an issue with AD's finances and that was the reason why he didn't follow through with the wedding. But here's the tea. Clay's best friend commented on an Instagram post of AD's interview with Cami talking about her finances while with Clay. And Clay's best friend said, I'm Clay's best friend and we have been living out in Charlotte for years now. AD's finances are in fact funny and she has a sugar daddy that is funding her life. Bought her a car and apartment. She's not a realtor. Ask her to show us one house she sold or a picture she took with someone in front of the house she just sold them. I'll wait. The never to do a press run to lie on a dude that has said nothing but kind, respectful things about her is nasty work. <laughs> what? Okay, buddy. In November 2023, around her birthday, her sugar daddy confronted Clay and I outside the club, stating he was still involved with her and had been the entire time and told Clay to stop messing with her. First of all, sprinkle, sprinkle. AD, get that money, girl. Honestly, Clay's not married to AD, so she could do whatever she wants to do. I don't see anything wrong with her having a sugar daddy. If that was a source of income for her and she made it work, then that's her business. But I feel like if AD and Clay did get married, then AD would have probably dropped that sugar daddy. I'm just confused why Clay's bestie is out here saying this about AD. I mean, that's her business. Clay said no to AD, so why does this matter? Even though AD allegedly had a sugar daddy, if this is true, then AD, get that money, girl. So, so my problem with this whole thing is that people love to talk about how Clay was never ready to be a husband he should have never came on the show agree got it was ad any more ready to be a wife and come on the show if the sugar daddy allegedly allegedly if the sugar daddy is saying that he was involved with ad the entire time whatever the entire time is because also allegedly her sugar daddy is the guy who owns the club i think it's a club who owns a club that she worked at as a vip manager so, putting all the pieces together, if this is a sugar daddy that owns a club, bought her a car, bought her an apartment, they were involved the entire time, was she ready to come on this show if she hadn't cut ties with that person if to get casted? <laughs> Poor Mike, I'm always hitting it. To get casted on the show, they called the club and this sugar daddy is who told them, nope, nope, we're good. That's another thing on the street. So there's so much going on. Like, I don't I don't have time to put it all together, y'all. But if you've been following the, the, the tea on TikTok and all these socials, then you know what I'm talking about. But okay, so getting back to what I was saying, if this sugar daddy is who they called, so in an interview, I think on the Nick Viles, 
uh, podcast, A.D. said that they call the club and the owner of the club, which is her sugar daddy or her ex-boyfriend, either one, right, um, told the show, nope, we're good. Me and her are still together. When she came in, he told her that and she was like, what? No, let me call them back. And that's how she called the show back to get casted. So you're still involved with this ex or sugar daddy, whichever one he is to you. You work for him at the club as a VIP manager. You recently became a realtor. So that's another discrepancy that I'm going to talk about in just a little bit. But in a way, like the, the, the position and the place and the time in her life where AD was when she was casted on the show, when she was scouted for the show, she was no more ready to be a wife than Clay was. There's word on the street that the only people who actually applied to be on, the, on this season are Chelsea and Laura. So everybody else was casted. Nobody else was ready. It's not like they saw a sign and it said like, oh, we're casting for Love is Blind. You want to be a husband, want to be a wife? And they signed up. No, these people were casted. They were scouted to be on Love is Blind season six. So with that in mind, I just want to pose a question to you all. Was AD any more ready to be a wife than Clay was to be a husband? I really don't like to take sides. And that's what I'm trying to be is objective when it comes to both of these people here is they both are messy. They both are trash, in my opinion, when it comes to this relationship. I'm talking about like the relationship in the show, not them as people. But like when it comes to Love is Blind season six, these two people are just as toxic. Like they're just as toxic as the rest of the cast and they are as toxic as each other is. And so the other thing that I want to talk about with this TikTok video is a sprinkle sprinkle. Girl, what? Really? Why is it okay for AD or any woman really to come on a show and their occupation is sugar baby and we're supposed to be okay with that and they want to be somebody's wife. I'm not saying sugar babies cannot one day be somebody's wife, but if the timeline is as it stands and she wasn't even done with the sugar baby relationship, she's over here talking about some, what if Clay was to marry her, she could cut off her sugar daddy. Is that really what we're doing in 2024? If AD's telling us that her dating history has proven to not work and the things that she's been doing haven't worked for her to be able to find a husband, is this really what she needs to be doing? Is this what we should be encouraging other women to do is get in these situationships, get in these sugar daddy, sugar baby relationships, and then one day magically pop up married. That's not how it works. For everybody who needs to do work when it comes to emotional stability, emotional security, and, and just unpacking generational trauma, you also need to do work to get yourself positioned to be somebody's wife. You can't just pop up married. No, it's. I just really had a problem with that TikTok because it really is encouraging people to just do whatever be whatever and you know i think ad is getting a lot of passes and now she's this black girl magic she's this queen she's this this she did nothing wrong nobody's holding her accountable to her actions if this is true now this is alleged but if this is true she's trifling She's trifling for coming on the show while having a sugar daddy. She's trifling for getting back with Clay because the way that these messages are coming off, it looks like after the show they dated because if in November this sugar daddy came up to Clay and said, stay away from my woman, that means they were still together. That means she was still with the sugar daddy and that means she was still messing with Clay. So really like, what are we talking about? <laughs> really? Now, I think it's gotten really ugly. These press tours that they're doing are not helping because people are starting to say contradictory things. I think Clay still needs to shut up. Like, Clay just talks a lot. And the more he talks, he, put his, he puts his foot in his mouth. So that's really, you know, not helpful at all. Like, they all need to just be quiet. But as we all guess, they're all here for clout. They're all here for the fame and the followers. So I guess I get it. You know, they're all just playing in our faces and wasting our time. So... Maybe, maybe I'm the one that needs to just let it go. Anyways, what do you guys think about that? I thought it was interesting and it kind of got me a little riled up because I don't like when people get a pass for dumb decisions, for bad behavior. I don't think we should be encouraging women to make such poor decisions. I don't condone sugar daddy, sugar baby relationships. The economy is tough. Of course, we would all love a little bit extra money, but I think you have to put your dignity first. Everybody knows that the money is not free. You got to put out some sugar to get some money, okay? So no one really wants to be with somebody, especially so fresh that you know basically was just out here like, really? And I think too, one last thing that I want to say, people uh, had a lot to say about Oh, Clay should have mentioned her finances before the wedding. He did. When they met with Clay's mom and sister, he talked about her not going to work. And like he mentioned something about, oh, whenever the club picks back up because AD wasn't going to work. And we can't get on Izzy for having bad credit last season or people for being unemployed. Like I think there was somebody else who was unemployed to the point where they had to get um, 
they had to get oh it was carter carter from last season was so broke that he had to ask what's that lydia's husband's name melvin malcolm whatever milton so if we can get on people for being broke and for being poor and not being ready financially emotionally spiritually to come on these shows and get married we can get on ad for not having a secure job because even if she is a realtor like they're saying okay and i have seen like okay yeah she's a realtor at keller williams but so is everybody else okay she's not selling no houses she's not making no money you can't come into the relationship broke and the only source of income that you have is from your sugar daddy no man and no woman is going to stand for that if they are respectable if we're going to hold one person to one standard we need to hold everybody to the same standard that's all i have to say on that one do you think this is true if it is true what are your thoughts on it what do you think about the cast of season six overall when it comes to love is blind do you think the show has lost its charm i personally think it has like it's run its course everybody who is coming on from here on out is here for clout that's what i truly truly believe but let me know what you guys think be sure to like comment and subscribe um i'll bring you any other tea worthy rent worthy news if i see so fit um but thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one